pick a hero. Hey guys, in the latest update, Moonton decided to turn this marksman into a deadly assassin, which means Yi Sun Shin gets the full stuff from Warax now. That's absolutely not. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Raid Shadow Legends community just keep growing at a very rapid pace, and to keep the players entertained, they are always adding new stuff to the game. And since this is the Halloween's month, they added a lot of new and spooky looking champions. Definitely the best looking one is Harvest Jack. He just looked pretty deadly with that Reaper sight. Nah, who am I kidding? Obviously my personal favorite is Madame Ceres. You can clearly see she has a lot of personality. Winky face. And this month, Raid's releasing bunch of new special events and activities. And of course, lots of Halloween related content. Collect special fragments and chain for the new legendary Halloween champion. If you want lots of free goodies, feel free to download the game by using the link in the description or scanning the QR code. New players will get the epic hero Chonoru, 200k silver, XP boost, energy refill and ancient shard. You will find your extra rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Feel free to download the game now. The opponents have a lot of crowd control, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem for Yi Sun Shin because his first kill can immune CC skills, but it does require impeccable timing. Este is making a small mistake here. He should be standing where I am so I can hit both of the creeps at the same time. It's just a little bit more efficient that way. I saw that they were quite low, so I wanted to keep the pressure. If you see an opportunity, take it. Oof, I messed up. I should have just charged the second skill. But this is what happens when you try to play a hero for the first time on. Well, whatever. It's not the cleanest execution, but we got the job done. Their Guinevere is quite low after turret diving our monkey. I was just hoping I could secure that kill. If you're not the jungler, don't take the jungle monsters, unless the jungler is on the extreme opposite side of the map. Destroy the turret! 
moment. I thought maybe I could get a sneaky kill and record some HP with the Kinnin Spree talent. Thanks to the old, I could see Johnson is by himself. Johnson is driving, I need to keep that in mind and get ready to use my first skill if it's necessary. If probably forgot to check the enemy spell and didn't know Jones is using execute. Yin Sun Shin first skill is probably one of the best dash skills in the game. Dash plus CC immunity and his passive lower is cooldown, that's actually unfair to many heroes who don't even have one mobility skill. I wanted to help my teammates first before taking the turtle. Apidomi Sands I had to dash away because even though I dodged Yudora's stun, Guinevere still had her jump. Can be too reckless. Johnson is driving again. Gotta retreat a bit first. That was a scary moment, but I don't need to go back to base yet. I can regain most of my HP by clearing some jungle monsters. I saw that many of them were low HP. If I could just snipe one of them with my second skill, I should be fine to take another fight. The Cario save Silvana. Their Nathan is very low, so I'm gonna try to look for him. Never mind.
I'm going to try to kill their squishy backline first because that's what assassin do. Apiro sense. As long as I'm ready for Gwyneth's year jump, I don't need to be too worried about her. They have so much magic based damage, so getting Athena's shield and tough boots were really important this match. <laughs> 